And the goal that I'm trying to achieve tonight is to create a SMTP interceptor. Uh, let me explain that a little bit before I start diving into it. Uh, there are a lot of pieces of open source software out there that's that's like packaged software. So a couple of recent examples would be Discourse, um, Mattermost is another good one, uh, Taiga is another one that I uh, like to use, and these are fully fledged applications. They're basically stand them up on your own cloud server and you now have this service. So Discourse is like forum software, Mattermost is uh, chat room software, and Taiga is project management. So what are we trying to do? All of these pieces of software have features where they notify uh, the users of the software whenever they've been mentioned or whenever uh, something has happened inside the app that they have an alert set up for or something that they're subscribed to receive. Um, and it'll send them an email. Um, so most of these applications have uh, SMTP services built in. So basically you tell them uh, what your SMTP provider is, like Mailgun or Gmail or something like that, and the application will use that, that uh, configured provider to connect to that SMTP server and use that SMTP provider to send emails uh, on your application's behalf. And so you'll go in and you'll configure uh, the from and stuff like that, and you'll put your your password credentials in there. So that's all pretty well and good, but um, a lot of these pieces of software are best used inside enterprises, IT enterprises, uh, corporations, organizations, you name it. And a lot of companies uh, inside their organizations for many different reasons don't use SMTP. Uh, they'll use something else, usually an exchange server or uh, some other uh, mail transport authority on the back end to orchestrate sending of emails. Um, now, whether this is good or bad, I won't get into, but uh, there are some disadvantages when it comes to using pieces of open source software that they don't like to use these other types of mail agents. So they're called local mail uh, agents. So a mail transport authority or a local MTA, you'll hear it called. Um, it's more difficult to program these types of services into a application because you have to know things about your specific, the specific mail transport authority that's being used. And that can differ uh, between distros and there are some quirks, I guess I should say, to how they work. They're a little bit different than uh, how SMTP works. So what I wanna do today is basically build a service that uh, on the server side of things to an application like, like Discourse or Mattermost, uh, it is a SMTP provider. So that application will be able to connect to the service and route mail envelopes, message envelopes through to the application with the intent to those being received. Now on the inside of this service, what it'll actually do is it'll take those messages and use a different transport authority to set them. So when I actually use SMTP, it'll use a, a local mail transport authority that you'll be able to configure yourself. Um, tonight I'm going to work with SendMail, and I'm not exactly sure if this will be like one repo or two repos on GitHub. We'll kind of just play it by ear. This will probably be a fairly long session. Um, and the last thing is that normally you see me working on a Mac, and tonight I am working on a Windows 10 machine. And I occasionally switch back and forth between Mac and Windows or Linux just to make sure that I'm up to speed in the industry on all the quirks of working with the tools I like to use 
uh, on the various operating systems that other developers use. That way I have, I'm informed about potential issues that might come up and I know how to kind of code around some things. So I've spent a little bit of time recently getting my Windows 10 stuff set up and I will be working with that mostly. So I'm going to Off here and we'll get started so I'm going to start with a We're going to call it SMTP Interceptor. And actually, I'm going to start this up as a project on first. And we'll put it up on Hacker Happy Hour. And let's call this. Uh, SMTP interceptor. uh, 